Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Uh, we're going to Minnesota tonight for tonight's update. Last night, their House of Representatives passed two bills with a full floor vote. I'll give you the uh, details of each one here in a minute. Uh, and they now go to the Senate. What is important is that even though this is going to be disheartening for people to hear, that these bills are being you know moved forward in Minnesota as well as several other places in the country, uh, there is still time to kill these bills, and you have to get involved in order to make that happen. The two bills are HF8 and HF9. We'll start with HF9. That is a red flag bill. Uh, the red flag is being forced through by the Democrats, saying that it saves the world of all the evils. It stops suicide and all kinds of, it probably makes magical rainbows and unicorns appear too. It's just insane. What was good to see is in some of the rebuttals, some of the Republicans actually stood up and said that this law violates our constitutional right. And another key thing is that, well, um, I don't forget his name, but one of the uh, re uh, Republicans also said a better uh, way to attack people with mental problems instead of, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, instead of, uh, you know, violating their, their due process and their constitutional rights is to utilize the 72-hour a uh, psychiatric hold that can be instituted by law enforcement or healthcare professionals, and every state has that. Uh, that's what the the leftists don't want you to know. Every single state has some form of a psychiatric hold if somebody is is really in some type of mental distress. But what they what they don't want you to know is that they're just using these bills to bullshit us because they're not they don't care about the individual who's in distress. If, and why do I say that? So for the people out there who might like these bills, I, I can prove that because I haven't found one yet, whether it's law now or proposed, that deals with that person. If they're really in a mental health situation, uh, not one of them offers treatment. Not one of them offers any kind of treatment for that person who might need help. What they do is only seek to confiscate firearms without due process. That is it. That is all they do. HF9 in Minnesota is one of those that does just that. Now, like always, I'll have a link in the description to this bill, uh, and I will let you know that it passed the House 68 to 62, so it was close, but it did pass. Now it goes to the Senate. The other bill that passed was HF8, and that bill passed 69 to 62, and that bill is the universal background check bill that all of these states say that we absolutely have to have because we need background checks. Background checks already happen. They already happen. Uh, but what this does is it solely looks at a way around ending the person-to-person -person private sale of firearms. Now, in many states, uh, I'll use my state for instance, here in Massachusetts, uh, in order to, unfortunately, in order to have a firearm on you, you have to have a uh, license to carry. It's called an LTC here in Massachusetts. In order to have an LTC in Massachusetts, you have to prove that you're as pure as the undriven snow. Uh, you're vetted like no one else in this state for anything. Uh, and what happens here is that if I have a shield and I don't want it anymore, and person C has an LTC, then I can sell that to them. We make that transfer and it's okay and lawful because I have already undergone multiple background checks for my LTC and to purchase that firearm. And that person with his LTC has already gone through multiple background checks for his LTC. They're already cleared. But what they want to do is stop that from happening because they can't track them with their 4473s. And thus, they don't know where the gun goes when they want to you know, go back and maybe confiscate them. Also, this is looking in a way of stopping gun shows. Uh, some gun shows in some states have... Uh, state police or other agencies that are there running the background checks for the purchases, but that's not the case everywhere, and that is what these anti-gunners want to stop. Now, like I said, there is time still to help destroy these bills. I think they're going to have a tougher time in the Senate, but if you don't voice your opinion to your representatives, uh, to your legislators, uh, then they're going to think that you're cool with it. Okay, then they're going to go by whatever people tell them in the halls of the Capitol. So call your representatives, call your senators. I will have uh, links down below how you can find who your Minnesota representative is. And it is imperative that you do that, guys and gals. It is absolutely imperative. I prefer uh, to actually go and see them face to face, whether you can make it to the Capitol or not. 
Uh, you can still see these legislators. They all have to have time in their districts and they post what times they have at whatever offices they, they have. And you can just make an appointment, you can show up, you can talk to the aides, whatever. Uh, but don't just stand by and let it happen. This election this year is gonna be really, really big, really instrumental in a lot of the states uh, in the union this year. Uh, yes, it's a presidential election, and that's what's gonna get most of the attention of folks, but what we need to realize is that Bloomberg and his cronies are trying to pick apart each state that they see viable in beating at the local level, your local towns, your local cities, uh, your local county boards. They're trying to uh, in invest money into these local races to flip them, and that's how they're spreading these stupid bills. So I'll have links down below to HF8 and 9. 9 is the red flag, 8 is the universal background checks. I'll have links down below to find your legislators in Minnesota. And I, it's now up to you who live there. All right. If you don't live there, please forward this information to help our brothers and sisters in Minnesota to help them stop this in its tracks. They still have to go to a committee in the Senate, and then it still has to make it out of committee, and it still has to go to the floor. So there is time for you to take action, but the time is now. If this is the first time you've ever seen a video on guns and gadgets, thank you. I welcome you to the growing freedom family here. And I invite you to join by hitting the subscribe button. It's right down below the video here on YouTube. Also hit the bell icon right next to it. That way when I put out new stuff, you get notifications of when stuff's going on. Uh, because in all too often the case here is uh, when the news comes here, you need to take action quickly to try to stop it. So the faster you get the news, just like any other news, the faster you can get it, the faster you can act on it. So hit that bell icon. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. If you found anything in this that was worthy of your time, please hit that thumbs up. The more people that hit the thumbs up, the more people can see it in YouTube because it goes higher in the algorithm. I know a lot of people say it in their videos, guys, but it really does make a big difference. Please share this with your friends. And until we see each other again, I am Jared, the humble host of Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.